Good morning, this is Maul from Maul and Paul in the Swing, and I'm in my kitchen, and I'm going to show you how I dry can. Uh, this is this is the way I do it, and uh, so I had some requests. Some people wanted to know, Maul, how do you how do you do dry canning? I've never heard of it. In fact, one of my old friends from out in Monday, West Virginia, uh, we were talking the other morning, and I told her how I dry can, and she never heard of it either. So I thought, well, honey, let me tell you something. There, dry canning is an awesome thing to do because when you have an overabundance of beans or rice or macaroni or crackers or you know dried corn or whatever uh, oatmeal flour all these things can be dry canned and dry canning preserves it. it it you know how that they tell you that sometimes there's little mites or something in some of the stuff we buy well this kills everything and um, it's as easy and simple to do so easy and simple to do but of course you know how i always start my mornings first of all i start it with god's word and then second of all y'all know exactly what i'm doing yes that good old morning cup of coffee so grab your cup of coffee and come join me in the kitchen i'll be right back all right, now what I do is I take clean canning jars, of course, and I fill them up to the neck. This is what you have to do. You fill your jars up to the neck. And after you fill your jars up to the neck, to the neck <laughs> then you already have a preheated oven of 225 degrees. 225 degrees. Yes, that's all. So, after you finish filling your jars all the way up to the neck, then we take a jar and we place every jar in the oven on a rack. And I'll be back with you when I get them all in the oven and then I'll show you the next step. Now, I've placed my jars in the oven on a rack. And now I'll set the timer for one solid hour. Then I'll be back and I'll show you what to do. Good morning. Okay, now I am uh, just about ready to show you the finish. There we go. There goes the sound of the oven. That means my dry canned goods are ready to get out of the oven. So, all right. Now, <laughs> look who I brought in. This is Maul. This is Paul. And we're in the kitchen. In he's Ball's gonna, kitchen. yes, he's gonna help me here. He's gonna hold the camera for me because that way you can see the full video. All right, here we go. You get to grab the camera. All righty, so we're all done. Open up the oven door. Now, what I want you to understand is don't turn your oven off. You leave the oven on. That way you keep the product whatever you're dry canning it'll stay hot because that's the definite you need to keep it hot so we bring it over here I take and I wet a paper towel with some vinegar vinegar is a good cleaner not a, not real real wet not real wet because you don't want so I take it and put, take it around the ring then I take a washed and ready cap and you place it on the jar and yes the jars are very hot now you tighten it tighten it till it's really tight okay and then I'll take it over here follow me over here I'm gonna place it right here and I'll leave this go until you hear the sound of the lid popping which means it's sealed now I wanted to show you um, I do a variety of foods. Uh, I love to dry can. Uh, I had a lot of overabundance of cereal, so I dry can my cereal. And that will last for, I can say years, because I had cereal that was canned two years ago. There was an overabundance of Fruit Loops. And so my um, little granddaughter wanted cereal, and I went and got the cereal, and I said, well, I brought it out, and one of my sons were here, and they said, seriously? I suggest. I said, this is good as the day you put it in there. And I opened it up and it was crispy as it could be. So, and I had overabundance of pancake mix. So I did my pancake mix. 
uh, I also had some, I never can pronounce this right. It's um, tortilla flour. Tortilla. <laughs> Tor whatever you call it. So I did that because I had an overabundance of that. And I, <laughs> and I did some saltine crackers, which you can do any crackers. I did graham crackers. I do, uh, well, any type of crackers. Crackers, pretzels, you know, that's the good thing about dry canning. It's dried goods is what it is, actually. And um, I do uh, rice and beans and macaronis. Uh, I do all kinds of the dry goods. And it turns out really well. And it preserves it. And it keeps it really good. And so I thought that today would be a great day to bring you into the kitchen and let you see how that mall dry cans. And I want to tell you also, for some of the new beginners who don't, you know, don't know which, uh, you, you can't dry can anything like sugars, you know, because that would melt. Like hard candies, sugars, um, chocolate chips or anything of that such. I always, I, you know, I thought too, well, maybe I could do some since the temperature was so low, but no, you can't do it. So, uh, it's mainly for your dry goods and it's wonderful and it works very well. And uh, I just wanted to bring you in my kitchen and let you see this today. And uh... All right. I'm glad you could join me in my kitchen this morning. And I hope that you have a wonderful, blessed day. And I hope I've done something to encourage you, something to uplift you today. And I hope that I have made this video... Uh, Simple enough, huh? Yeah, simple enough. Yeah, I need his help a lot all the time. We need each other. We need each other. Help me. Uh, yeah. Yes, help me. And so, uh, of course, uh, we're enjoying our cup of morning coffee. And we just want to thank you for joining in. I uh, want to ask you to subscribe. To? To? To who? To, the, to Stephen's Family Outdoors. A traditional uh, homestead. Yes. A traditional homestead I love that word homestead you know homestead just sounds so comforting sure doesn't it it does <clears throat> I think that's because it was simple back in the day it was so simple uh, simple living mm -hmm. simple uh, mm -hmm. uh, like the dry canning and things like mm -hmm. that I mean they had to do that to survive homesteading is survival mm -hmm. it's not just a, mm -hmm. a little niche that you you try to go off in and mm -hmm. and um, you know try just try out see if you like it mm -hmm. homestead is a survival I mean it's surviving mm -hmm. in a lot just like this COVID-19 thing mm -hmm. I don't like to always bring that up but so many people were unprepared mm -hmm. uh, with foods and things of such like that there but uh, not this household. No. Why? Because mm -mm. we're homesteaders. Yes. Homesteaders. I love that word. Homesteaders. Well, God bless you all. You have a wonderful day. And if you like what you're seeing this morning, you give us a thumbs up and a like and uh, push that notification bell. And feel free to share these mm -hmm. videos mm -hmm. with yeah. your friends. Yeah. Bring your friends on in. So, God bless and have a great day. This is Maul. And this is Paul. We're in the kitchen. Mall's kitchen. Mm -hmm. God bless. Those fruit loops really that good? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool.